Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video I'm going to be going over the bit shop and the new limit break system that are going to be coming to the game. I have received a lot of questions on how these are going to work, what's going to change once the update comes out. 29.2 is moments away, it should be coming out before the weekend so this is just going to give you some nice little early information on this stuff now first up we'll start off with the bit shop we know the value of what we can trade in our characters for selling one gold fighter gets you one gilded bit selling one s-class fighter gets you two rare bits and selling one six star fighter gets you one rare bit this is what the value of each character is going to change to currently six stars are worth supply depot tokens so if you were low on those supply depot points, you might actually want to sell your six stars now. They sell for 2,000 each, as you can see. The second the update goes fully live in game, these will change from these 2,000 supply depot points per sell to one rare bit. It's kind of like the situation when basic tokens got upgraded, where you had to decide if you were going to pull a lot of your basic tokens before the update, just to get yourself a lot of three star weapons and characters to be able to sell for the supply depot points, or whether you were happy to just go with the new updated basic tokens. It's exactly the same situation here. Both sides are good, but I would say if you were very, very, very low on the supply depot points, it might be hard to get up on those now with just five star characters. I'm personally at 400k, and that's only two gold mythics in the supply depot. So even I might not be in that great a position. Now, I did test out the selling six stars and S class characters on my beta region, you can see, and I'm just getting some rare bits here. And once you sell these, you can trade them in in the shop. Once it goes live, it will look a bit more like this in terms of what you can actually get. You can get silver choice tokens, silver random tokens, Bernadette's, and world energy refills. These have a limit of certain amounts per month and they cost a certain amount of of rare bits and obviously you can prioritize these as you wish personally i think the bernadettes are one of the best ones to go for just because trainers you know everyone needs trainers and silver random tokens as well probably are the two main things i'm going to try and pick up any excess i have unless i have extreme excess i'm probably going to just save for the next month honestly because getting all of the bernadettes and all of the silver random tokens is going to be 86 star characters i'm not sure i get 86 star characters a month at the moment and i think this is mainly going to be aimed at people who do pull heavy amounts on the promo world to be able to pick up lots of this stuff now there was also obviously the selling one gold fighter for one gilded bit this works exactly the same way as the s class fighters and the six star fighters except you get a slightly different currency it is worth noting you can sell characters that are your priority characters maxed out you know the ones that you actually need so make sure you're locking your characters that you do not want to sell now we didn't have to do this before with mythic characters but now it is a good idea to do so and the characters you can pick up in the actual store once it goes live are sophia and alice on sale for three gilded bits limited to one and then dale abraham sophia tyrese ivanova garrett alice and shiva are the characters that are four gilded bits and a limit up to three this does mean if you had a lot of duplicates you could go all in on a character you didn't have any of before let's say garrett you could pick up three of him and get him limit broken the second that you get him as a character and of course just to draw attention again where it says each month a new character will enter the bit shop and another will leave expect to see powerful characters find themselves in the bit shop over time so again just so you realize this is where you can get new characters in the future every month a new character is going to come in i do hope they announce which characters are going to be entering and which characters are going to be leaving a little bit ahead of time especially the character leaving is more important just so that if someone did want to pick up that character and not wait until the next month they, they still could now talking of limit break we are going to be able to limit break our characters as well so you can buy those three characters from the shop but what you're going to be able to do with that extra third character and obviously the new system called limit break is going to come in and this is going to allow you to apply 40 new levels to a character if you have got them maxed out already at level 600 i believe you get 20 levels to level them up for free and then the next tier does cost a new tier of gear then each one each character gets a brand new 
double down on effectively their role it says an improvement to an existing mythic ability all fighters will receive a boost to their role specific ability on the first limit break which will include damage fighters getting agility tank fighters strength medic fighters spirit control fighters precision and support fighters cunning and it just it's a double down so agility one you get up to 10 percent extra attack agility two is the same now it, there isn't a cost to these obviously they are seen as like tier six in the military supplies and it costs quite a lot. I believe it's 700,000 military supplies to get these mixed, maxed out. So it is very expensive. So obviously you want to go in on characters that are going to be the most important for you early on. And, and that would be like your two main damage dealers on your attack team first. That's going to be like 1.4 million just, just there. But you are going to get a 10% attack boost on their basic attacks, signature moves. And if they have a multi-hit rush, multi-hit rushes as well. Now, there is also an improvement to each fighter's signature move and adrenaline rush. I did break these down in detail in another video, and I did go through the video and, and label it so you could skip to the character just to see what was is coming or just to see what I, my, you know, my, my thoughts are on that. There should be a, a link in the top right-hand corner if you're interested to, to watch part of that. But I can show you on the screen now how Limit Breaks actually work. So it, it works pretty much like this current system does where you you get a character to tier two then tier three then tier four and then tier five you're using silver characters to do this along the way it costs a grand total of 21 silver characters the initial gold character that you have plus a duplicate to get them to tier five now to get them to limit break all it costs is a duplicate gold mythic you just have to have the duplicate no extra silvers no resources by what i could see and they become a limit broken gold mythic and they get this little star below the the diamond five and i'm guessing once limit break two comes in those stars will be two stars and then limit break three it'll be three stars so on and so forth there's no visual change to the character in the dossier by the looks of it although i was kind of seeing things when it was happening but i'm pretty sure there's no change but there is a change to the character on how they look on your roster they get a little bit of a gold tint just at the bottom of their icon like the avatar and obviously the uh, little star below the five in the avatar as well so it's pretty much as simple as that. If you have characters that are maxed out at level 600 on their base levels, that's the blue level that you can see on the left-hand side now. If you have a duplicate of that character, you can instantly limit break them once the update comes out. The only thing to mention is if you limit break a character, that duplicate that you've used, you can't, can no longer sell for gilded bits. So if you've got a character that you're not using and it's not really a character that you can see being a long-term usage on your roster, for instance, for me, Carl, I have got a lot of Carls. Getting him to tier 5 is pretty worthwhile for allegiance-based stuff, but is it worth limit-breaking him at the moment? I'm probably better selling the duplicates for Gilded Bits to get characters that are going to help with my roster or to fill the gaps with allegiances that I've already got problems with. So my advice would be if you are reliant on characters, just dive straight in on them. For instance, Sandy here, I am fully reliant on when it comes to my attack team. She is one of the cornerstones of my attack team. I have got a duplicate. I am going to instantly limit break this character. A character like Wayland, he is very good. He isn't maxed out on my roster. I might not limit break him as quickly, although I do have a duplicate. I might limit break him down the line. And a character like Carl, like I said, and Darius, these characters where I do have duplicates to be able to limit break these characters, they're not getting any limit break at all. So that's it. That's pretty much how the limit break system works and the bit shop system's going to work we might get updates to the you know the characters and, and the available rewards over time but by then i think everyone will have their heads wrapped around it but that is going to be the end of this video guys if you did enjoy it or find it informative please hit that like button it does make a big difference thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving